In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Your program, Do You Know? And our question of today, How to Love Enemies. You all know that it was written in the Bible, Love Your Enemy. And before this, there is another verse saying, Love your neighbor like yourself. So we need to love everyone, starting from the very close people to the very far and maybe enemies, and we need to love everyone. So this, you know, kind of love is not the usual love. We are not speaking about the love which all people understand it easily because it's kind of having good relations with others. But the love of God and the love needed in the Bible the, the Christian love is kind of God's, God's love. When you enjoy God's love, as if your heart is full of this heavenly love, so you can love others waiting nothing from their side. You can shower them with your love and not expecting much of anyone because your heart is full of love. So by this, you are not making kind of mutual um, uh, interests and mutual benefits. No, you are just loving everyone like God who is loving everyone. And when you love people this way, you will change people. So the power of God's love is different from the power of any love. This superficial love that people live in and they know it by heart, that's not, you know, the kind of the taste uh, of heaven. And it cannot give you the real joy. But the Christian love, the love of God, can give you the real taste of heaven, the real joy of the Spirit. That's why it was written in the Bible, like the fruits of the Spirit is joy, love, peace, and others. So you are a spiritual person because you have this love of God in your heart and you are giving this love offered to anyone, you know, freely, with no personal benefit. Again, you know, it was written in the Bible, uh, this kind of God's love is related so much to faith because when you believe in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, when you believe in the eternal life, when you catch heaven by your hand, now you are not scared of death. Now you are not catching this life and, you know, feel the fear of losing anything in this life. Now you are powerful enough to love anyone, even the enemy, because you care not for this life. You are really rich, with faith, and by this richness, you can offer love freely to anyone. Also, love is always related to prayer, because through prayer you are getting the grace of God, the help of God, so your heart is getting wider, and you know your heart is getting uh, purified with the Spirit. In this way, you can love people whatever they do. And by loving them, you are praying for them, you are showing real care, you are excusing them, you are covering their bad things, you are helping them to live better, and you are pushing them wisely to catch the kingdom of heaven. So let's enjoy the real Christian love. May God bless you all. Amen.